What, Dame sign out, yeah? Wrong shoe, but the move still works, still. No way. Yo, what is up, YouTube? This is Pure Kicks back again with another performance review. And for those who have read the title and who have not, today we're taking a look at the Nike Zoom Freak Ones. Hmm. My guy, Yanis. <laughs> Let's get it. First and foremost, massive shout out to Nike and Product Basketball for sending these through. We highly appreciate it, don't we, Timmy? As always, as always. If you want your pair of the Greek Freak Ones, head over to the description box below, click the link to the Pro Direct Basketball website where they will indeed take care of your basketball needs. But before you do that, of course, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Like this video, show your support like you guys always do. Comment down below what your thoughts are on the Zoom Freak One. And of course, hit that subscribe button and the bell next to it to get notified every time we drop a new video. Appreciate that, bro. No worries, my guy. back. Yanis and the Kumpo. Ooh. The Greek that. freak. The current reigning MVP. The dude is nice, bro. Nice. And his future is bright. More than nice, bro. So it only makes sense for Nike to give him his first thing to shoe to put him on that, you know, that pedestal yeah, yeah, with the yeah. Kobe's and the LeBron's. Because I think his future is going to be that bright. It's, it's in there. It's yeah. in there. We have to talk about it. He's, he's in there. The shoe is cold, bro. Yes. The yes, shoe indeed. Looks cold. Yes, it is a hell of a first shoe. Yeah, man. There's actually the coming to America colorway that's dropping soon. Yeah. One of my favorite films. Yeah. He really is a freak. But today we're not talking about the man himself. We're talking about the shoe that he hoops in. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. So starting things off with the materials. These are some good-ass materials. Yeah, they're really good, man. It's a textile mesh construction throughout. Yep. Pretty straightforward, which we normally see in debut shoes. I don't know why, what it is about them. But these felt a little nicer. Yeah. Not sure what it was. They were definitely breathable. They were light. And they were surprisingly flexible. Yep. We've not really seen that too much in textile mesh. And I really, really loved the way they felt. Now, with the materials for me, yep. it was all about the breaking time, Timmy. True. It was pretty much minimal, close to, much zero. close to zero. Straight out of the box, the shoe was cozy, bro. And throughout the performance review, I'm gonna mention how comfortable the shoe is. That's fair. That's but fair. the comfort mainly came from the materials. True. I also love how durable the materials are. Mm -hmm. It's a bit more structured than your normal textile mesh. True, but still flexible. It's still flexible, and they've yeah. also added this overlay for your toe drags. Yeah. So all in all, it's a durable shoe, bro. I mess with you. Yeah. I mess with you. Now, yes, a deep hip. We said it's breathable. Yep. It's flexible. Yep. It's lightweight. Yep. Breaking time's good. It's comfortable. It's durable. Sounds like a lot of boxes got ticked then. It sounds like a nine out of it's ten. It's sounding like a nine out of ten materials yeah. on that one. Something it's, like. It's, it's sounding. Something like. Next up, we have the fit of the shoe. Now, I mentioned earlier how comfortable yep. the shoe is. Cozy. And another thing that contributes to that comfort is the fit. That comes from mainly this lacing system. True. And obviously, you see these four lace loops, yep. right? Inspired by Yanis's four brothers. Yes, his, his how many brothers? His four brothers. Therefore, there's how many boys in that family? There's five of them. Okay, then. All that stuff you're talking about in first impressions about them only being four and being called the Yanis brothers because of Splash Brother comparison, Throw it all out, because it's all wrong. Like I was saying. Like I was saying. <laughs> <laughs> you know what's mad? All four of his brother's names on the back of the shoe mm. this whole time. You're, you're telling me that the uh, Yannis brothers. Francis, Thanasis, Kostas, Alex. I mean, one of these must be his son. <laughs> <laughs> like I was saying, the Four brother lace loops are okay. connected to the internal bands of the shoe. Yep. And that lacing system really makes sure that the forefoot of the shoe conforms to your foot nicely. nicely. That adds to the fit of the shoe and the general lacing system as well makes the shoe fit really, really nice. Yep. Timmy and his long ass feet were good. Oh, this again. My lovely regular foot was also amazing. How do you get lovely? So, because it is Timmy. No, you, no, I'm not even about to get so into it. So if Timmy was good, then I was good. I'm sure you guys will be good too. We definitely recommend you guys go and treat the size, don't we, Timmy? I guess. Even if the foot is abnormal like yours, definitely go treat the size because Timmy did. And he was good. So you'll be good too. 
Flo, give it a score, man. Move on. You know what? Just being real. Flo's right. He's not wrong. They did feel really good. They did. Even, Amazing. Even for me. I mean, thanks to the materials, along with the fit and that lacing system, they just felt really nice. Yes. So if you ask me, it's a 9 out of 10. Solid 9 out of 10. Strong 9 out of 10. And you sound a bit salty to me. I think we should move on. Next up, talking about the support. Now here in the Zoom Freak 1, we've got the usual suspects we yeah. normally do when we're talking debut shoes. We've got the outrigger shape. Yeah. We've got the internal heel counter. We also have an external heel counter which is actually made up from the midsole cushion in as well, along with the traction which comes all the way up, giving you this madness of a heel counter. It really is. It felt good too. It just looked crazy. It's really used all the components it could. Absolutely amazing. Overall lockdown of the shoe, and of course that four brother lace which we talked about a second ago. Yeah. Bangs when we're talking four foot lockdown. Yeah. So mm, there's a list for you. Flo, tell him how it felt. Now it surprises me actually that he likes to play in a shoe like this. Mm -hmm. You know, before the, the Zoom Freak ones, the dude was hooping in Kobe's. True. Right? True. However, this shoe feels like a Kobe yep. with a bit Kobe more support. Yep, yep. So yep. it's it's yep. a perfect shoe for an explosive guy like Yanis who likes to hoop in low top shoes. So the support is A1. All of that being said, the support comes out as an 8 out of 10. Now, you might probably ask him, why is it not a 10 if it's so good? Yeah. We've talked about it before. When you're missing ankle coverage, you're yeah. going to lose some points. Yeah. But they're not bad points to lose. They're not, they're not bad. It's, 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 it's calm. This is a supportive shoe. Next up, we have the cushioning. Now, here in the Zoom Freak Ones, like in the name, it's Nike Zoom. And it's not just any Nike Zoom. It's, it's Nike Zoom. double stacked Nike double Zoom stacked. in the heel in a very soft phylon carrier. Very. Now what I like is that Nike has written Zoom squared. There's no need for that. On the outside. Cheeky. How does, it, how does the cushioning feel to me? Bam, it felt decent. It felt good. Cause looking at pictures and like a kind of, um, not I'll say leaks even before they came out, it didn't look like it was gonna be much. No. It was very close to the ground, which it does feel. So you yeah. get great court feel as well. Inbred protection felt good. Again, it being the kind of very soft violon carrier. Yeah. The zoom bags in the heel, no, I've never been a fan of it because I don't know if I feel it, but I felt the double stack. Yeah, he feels double stack. I did stack feel the double stack. Yeah. I really felt that and that felt comfortable. Yeah. Going back to what we said earlier, it's a cozy shoe. I don't want my shoulders are up like this, yeah. but it's cozy. It's decent. It does the job. It does the job, 100%. Yeah. It definitely adds to the comfort of the overall shoe. Exactly. It complements the materials. Yeah. So with all of that being said, yeah. the cushion gets a seven out of 10. That's right. Amazing job. You know, we love the heel zoom. We love the double stack. We prefer it in the forefoot. Double stack the forefoot. But a seven out of 10 for sure. Now last but not least, talking about the traction. Now here at Pure Kicks, we call it the Rose Runner. Traction pattern. Our right, next up is traction. Yeah, yeah. What are we calling it though? Need a name. Need a name still. All right, translucent. Reminds me of the Maze Runner. You mean solid? Sorry, solid. Solid reminds solid. me of solid. solid. Solid reminds me of the Maze Runner. Big film. And translucent reminds me of roses. True. Clearly it's roses. Right? Clearly it's roses. No, no. So let's call the traction Rose Runner. Blame me. You like that? Yeah, I like that. Like, 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 like. Now I love the fact that Nike's experimenting. Yep. Right? It's risky business combining solid rubber with a translucent outsole. Facts. But they did it and they got the job done. You know what? I agree. Yes. <clears throat> Those roses are dusty. Dude, I hate you, bro. You hear me? I hate you. Fam, they pick up a lot of dust. They do. If you don't wipe, you're gonna slip. Yeah. I don't know what it is. It was a few courts we tried them out on. Yeah. If you don't wipe, you're gonna slip. I don't even know why. I don't even know where it comes from. The compound felt really nice. Yeah. It's. It's not, it's not, it's hard rubber, but it's not like rock solid. I don't know. It's don't a difficult know. one. It's a difficult one. Clean courts, you're good. As always. Clean courts, the traction is beautiful. Say no more. You're stuck to the ground. You're not stuck. going anywhere. However, on a dusty court, dust collection, I wouldn't call it a problem. I wouldn't. I wouldn't call it an issue. I wouldn't call it an issue. It's just, as long as you, you know, you remember to wipe the outsole. Have to wipe. Every three seconds, <laughs> then you're good. <laughs> <laughs> you know them ones? Them ones. There's certain shoes that need that though, man. You know what it is? There are a few shoes on the market which are good shoes, Yeah. but you just need to wipe. And yeah. I don't know if it's, 
I, it's not a deal breaker. No. It's not. It's not. If we, we just talked about the whole shoe. Yeah. Shoe is fantastic. Just got to wipe the traction. Yeah. So with that being said, it's an above average 7 out of 10. 100%. I'm not too mad at it. I'm not mad at it at all, bro. I'm not too mad at it. I'll definitely still rock these outdoors. I rock them outdoors. Even with the translucent. With translucent, I think you're going to be good. The yeah. roses are doing their thing. Yeah, 100%. Now, taking all the scores into consideration, the Nike Zoom Freak Ones come out at an 8.0 out of 10. That's one hell of a debut. That is a great debut. Welcome. Welcome to the club. Welcome to the team. We accept you with open arms. Open. These definitely have a place in my rotation. Yeah? They've got a spot in there. Your rotation is tough, bro. My rotation is tough. And for these guys to make it, well done. I'm with it. They're in mines too. Yeah. They might have just made mines too. Yeah. And the reason is because of how comfortable the shoe is overall. That comfort really tops a lot of things. Yeah, bro. And that comfort comes from the materials and the fit. Yeah. Those two things combined, how soft and how easy the materials are to break in, with how amazing the, the shoe fits, yeah. make the shoe a really comfortable ride. The midsole cushioning as well is nothing crazy. No. The double stack is something you can definitely feel, and it also adds to the comfort of the shoe. So yeah. that is the reason why the shoe will be considered for my rotation. I agree. I fully agree. And that's it from us. Like we mentioned before, if you would like the Zoom Freak 1s in this colorway, the Coming to America colorway, or any other upcoming colorway, head over to the description box below, click the link to the Pro Direct Basketball website where they will take care of your Zoom Freak 1s and any other basketball needs. But before you do that, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Like this video, show your support as you always do. Comment down below what your thoughts are on the Zoom Freak 1. Of course, hit that subscribe button and the bell next to it to get notified every time we drop a new video. So, all right, guys, that's it from us. This is the Nike Zoom Freak 1. Wear pure kicks. Let's, Let's get, get it. it.